The state's new migrant relocation program could be on the governor's desk as soon as tomorrow. And as the new program moves through the legislature in Tallahassee, so does a lawsuit against the current program. News Channel 8's Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean has the details. It's a packed schedule this week at the Capitol, yet Democrats claim the main reason they're back in Tallahassee is to shore up the state's migrant relocation program. But Republicans disagree, saying that this is an effort to curb the current crisis. When nearly 50 migrants were flown to Martha's Vineyard last year, Governor DeSantis pledged he'd do it again. The legislature gave me $12 million. We're going to spend every penny of that. But some lawmakers took issue with how the funds were spent. But trading with your dollars, payments have been made for services that have not been rendered. And this bill just has a couple of bylines that says that's approved. Now a bill brought during this week's special session would wipe out the existing program. Moving it from the Department of Transportation to the Department of Emergency Management. They're the ones that are used to emergencies, and we have an immigration crisis going on. That in itself is an emergency. The alterations from lawmakers come as State Senator Jason Pizzo's lawsuit against the governor plays out across the street. No one, except maybe for the governor's council, uh, knew that there would be a uh, special session bill on immigration. Today, Judge John Cooper said it's not his job to interfere with the legislature and set the next hearing for the case in March. We're cleaning up an immigration program that I think, uh, you know, tomorrow or the next day is going to be found to be unconstitutional. Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo says the challenge isn't out of the norm. Many of the laws that we pass face, con uh, face uh, legal challenges. If this passes in the House and is signed by the governor, which is likely, what happens next for Senator Pizzo's lawsuit is unclear. Reporting from the Capitol, Libby Dean, 8 on your side.